Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we're gonna be looking at the Thrilling Voyage and the Grim Expanse. So overall, I went through a video a little bit earlier. We went through a couple different team comps. Um, there are a few guides that are over on the Chinese server that I wanna share with you. So let's hop over and we'll take a look at them. All right guys, so here is the first one. Again, we're gonna kind of uh, clean it up and as you can see guys this is the clearance lineup so some of the heroes that we're actually running you can see there are a few different variations in here looking at the plus 12 seal or the 18 can be used as a single pass so you can actually dominate it with a level 18 seal um, but looking in here level 8 double um, demon mission level 19 you can see there are a couple variations in here if you've been trying to come through here and have been unsuccessful. So this one does run Albedo with Rem, which of course is the dimensional and all dimensionals short of Liberta right here down on the side, um, which does phenomenal within. And again, I did not share this, um, this team right here. There's also a secondary guide that we're gonna look at as well, but you can see running Mulan in here. So if you have this variation of Rem and Amelia, a lot of players have said that they have Rem, but they do not have Amelia. That is the reason and the trigger that really um, made me think of this is because a lot of players, again, were saying they do not have Amelia. Now looking in here, we do have Aziz and then we have Lucretia in place of here. That is level eight. So I believe that is the eighth one and then level 19. And here you can see we have Joan of Arc and then we do have Mulan that comes back in here. So again, if you don't have Amelia, the first couple stages are pretty easy to get through. When you start getting to the boss stages, that is a point where some of the players are actually getting stuck. So here is the, the custom clear configuration. And again, we'll go through quite a few. There are quite a few in this guide um, that you can kind of lean on and definitely use. Now looking down here, this of course is the awakened version of Belinda. The most sought after, the most um, prioritized hero that we have in AFK Arena. We don't know if the awakened version of Laika is actually going to take her place but looking in here guys this is the old school formation and this is also running the owl instead of the seal but this has honesta in here does require a little bit of a build as the brawler's protection is the protection within here you could probably even put the awakened version of brutus in here which would probably work um but we have palmer in here we have aziz and again these heroes even at a lower level would still work then we have the Awakened version of Belinda, and then we have Rowan. This ultimately will lead to the ultimate ability that we have of the Awakened version of Belinda, allowing us to actually dominate these formations. Now looking down here, again, a couple different formations. We have Palmer in here. This one is running Rain. Down there, we do have Aziz as well, running the Awakened version of Solus with Rem. And then we do have Rosaline in here or Mortis, again, depending on what you're doing. This is kind of Rem doing this formation. Um, but again, a lot of these formations can be used in kind of an alternate or different places. Level 17 and then level 18, two teams. Um, you can actually look at both of those. So running Rem in there with the Awakened version of Solus, running Merlin in there with Joan as well. Again, depending where you are in AFK Arena, because this is running Rain and Silas as well in here with the Winged Lion as a second team. Now looking a little bit further, again, level 18, this is kind of flexible. So remember, within this game mode, you do have to get all of the stars. Um, we actually had to double back and take out a couple more teams in there, but all of the stars have to be maintained in here. And this is one that I was actually running a little bit, so running Rem with Amelia. We have Joan in here, we have Yennefer, and then Amelia. So if you do have Rem and Amelia in here, you can do that. And again, has a little bit of flexibility in there. Old school team comp, we were running Nevi with the Awakened version of Solus, then of course with Scarlet. Now, something to remember with this team specifically is Scarlet has a very high form of RNG, meaning she could kill out your heroes, which we do see quite a bit with Scarlet. Um, so there is an RNG. You might have to run it a couple more times to get this done. Then we also do have um, Mishka in here and we have Anasta as well. Again, crowd control. We have some shielding. We have some energy regeneration, some damage mitigation out of this formation, which works incredibly well. Then, of course, down here, we have the Awakened version of Belinda. This one running Demia. Again, kind of a very, very similar setup that we've seen in the past when it comes to these heroes. Now, looking down here, um, you can see these are kind of the runs that they kind of went through. And then a few more just down here on the bottom, which is a couple different variations of that Awakened version of Belinda. Again, for a majority of players, they probably do have the Awakened version of Belinda. Um, even looking at um, Aziz, looking at Mortis, doesn't really require a huge build out on those to be effective within a bunch of different game modes. Rosaline, the stronger that you ever built, the better. And then of course, Rain, you have to have the nine of nine, for, or excuse me, 
the three of nine furniture for rain, but the plus 20 signature item in there still does work incredibly well. So let's hop over guys and we'll take a look at the second guide. And this one is the consolidated version that we've seen guys. And you can see they are running one pretty strong team in here. So they're running actually Rosaline in here with Rem. We do have the Awakened version of Solus. Palmer and then Rain in here with the with the um, Owl. You can notice the Owl is only nine. The rest of these teams are just garbage teams because you're not gonna get past that first team. But more civilians um, than Arab Advanced Suites. So you can see guys, these are the two primary comps that players are running within the formation. Even running the Pet Lizard, so actually running the Rock Lizard within the second formation. And if you remember from other game modes that we've actually been running, these teams are very consistent than what, that what we've seen before with the addition of Liberta right down here, guys, doing incredibly well, guys. Liberta is actually one of the, the broken heroes that we've seen within AFK Arena. We've seen it with Damia. We've seen it now with Laika. We're seeing it with Liberta. Um, so much utility put into one single hero that it comes to the players that have the hero and it comes to the players that do not have the hero, um, which unfortunately is the way that we're seeing it. Now, the first team, of course, does run the seal. The second one is running, again, that rock lizard within the formations. And again, these level eight A team, any two formations for the demons, you can actually run the top team or the bottom team going to work effectively the same within a lot of different game modes, but very, very cool to see guys. Again, thank you guys for all of the comments and all of the additional formations that we've seen within the um, within this game mode. It's really been helping a lot of players have said thank you um, for sharing those game modes. That is why when this came out, I definitely wanted to cover it and wanted to share it again. That way you can make sure that you're looking at all of the comps. Make sure, I hope there's enough variation within the heroes you have. Um, if you do not have or have made through made it through there, throw your comps down like we've done earlier, guys, in the, in the comments down below so we can actually take a look at those. That'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.